Fuller Accelerated, which course should you choose? Hi, I'm Wes Bryan, Edutainer at IT Pro TV, and in this week's edition of How to Get Started in IT, I'm going to give you some advice that can help you decide. So you can't make up your mind if you want to take a full-length certification course. Well, let's look at a few reasons and a scenario as to why you might want to choose a full-length course. So, for instance, maybe you're completely new to taking exams. I want you to consider Alan. Alan is just getting started in IT. In fact, he doesn't know where to start. He's going to take an A-plus exam, but he doesn't have a solid understanding of where to go, what to study, or, well, how much to study. Number two, maybe you're new to an exam vendor. Let's take Alan, for instance. He's taken certification exams before, but he's never taken one from this specific vendor. He doesn't know how the vendor asks questions, doesn't know the duration, or the depth of knowledge required to pass this certification. Well, number three, you could have large knowledge gaps and you need a more in-depth explanation. So for instance, Alan has been in computers for a while, but hasn't seen this technology before and has a very limited hands-on experience with it. He's going to require a little bit more detail and a little bit more instruction of what and where he can find these concepts. Number four, maybe guided study is needed where maybe self-study is challenging. For instance, Alan wants the most information he can get, but gets lost sometimes when it comes to the direction he should go with his studying. It would make his life a whole lot easier if he had help with the objectives, what those objectives are, and the directions his study should take. Where to take the exam, how to schedule, and how much it's going to cost. Those are some examples as to why you might want to take a full-length course. But does that mean that the accelerated course has no value? My answer to that would be no. Let's give you some scenarios on that one. Number one, if you're taking an accelerated course, you've already done the majority of the heavy lifting and studying, and it's been accomplished beforehand. Let's consider Shay. She's been studying for her certification exam very diligently for the last few weeks, and she's looked at a full-length course. However, her scheduled test date is rapidly approaching, and time isn't going to permit a deep dive in the concepts for the exam. Number two, maybe a high-level review of a specific domain or a concept prior to sitting the exam. So for instance, Shay needs to reassure herself that she understands a concept in, let's say, domain two before sitting the exam. This would be a prime example as to where an accelerated course would benefit her. Number three, are you a self-motivated learner? Let's consider Shay. Shay knows her study methods and is comfortable with the lab environment, and she's taken plenty of notes, created and studied her flashcards, and even taken pra practice exams. She's already scheduled her exam, but she wants a quick review before she sits the test. So while there are many more reasons to consider a full-length course or to consider an accelerated course, we want you to remember that if you're like Alan and maybe you're just starting out, or maybe that's a new vendor's exam, or you have large knowledge gaps that need direction, maybe on an exam objective or maybe the specifics, then the full course is for you. But if you're like Shay and you've done the majority of your studying and the exam date is rapidly approaching, then you might need a quick review of a certain set of concepts. And if you're a self-studier and self-motivated learner, then the accelerated course is for you. Do you have some reasons why you might take a full course or maybe an accelerated course over a full course? Leave us some comments in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe so that you can see all of the upcoming episodes on how to get started in IT. I'm Wes Bryan, Edutainer at IT Pro TV, and we'll see you in the next edition.